Welcome back everybody to the Crypto Ellis channel. If you want to get involved in TrustSwap airdrops and TrustSwap launchpad projects in the future, then this video is definitely for you because TrustSwap have just announced something called Average Daily Swap Held and this is how they are going to be basing who gets in on these different cryptocurrency projects and who gets in on these airdrops going forward into the future. So I'm going to tell you in this video exactly what that is. Also, we're going to take a look at Chain Games new tech and marketing roadmap because they've got a lot of big things coming up on that. So before we go any further, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload to the channel. I'm not a financial advisor, so please always do your own research and I'm not partnered, paid or affiliated with any of the cryptocurrencies mentioned in today's video. TrustSwap is currently at 81 cents. The 24 hour trading volume is 6.1 million. We've got the market cap of 52.6 million and the rank right now over on CoinGecko is 192nd. And Chain Games is around the 4 cent mark. 24 hour trading volume is fairly low, but on their tech slash marketing roadmap, which we're going to take a look at, they have said that they want to get listed on big exchanges in the short to medium term future. Then the market cap is 12.2 million, rank number 377th over on CoinGecko. Let's get straight into the TrustSwap news. So looking to get in on future swap drops and launchpad projects, stack up your ADSH, which obviously stands for Average Daily Swap Held. Trust Swap Launchpad and airdrops in the future will be based on this. This allows us to reward both long-term and high volume holders. So if you're a long-term holder of swap, you're gonna get rewarded. If you're a high volume holder of swap, you're also gonna get rewarded. So if you've been holding 10,000 swaps since day one, which was July 9th, and have not bought or sold any, then your ADSH is 10,000. You've held exactly 10,000 swap each day, so your ADSH is 10,000, pretty simple. If you bought 20,000 swap 26.5 days ago, and did not buy or sell any, we've been live for 53 days, then your ADSH will be 10,000 also. But if you bought 10,000 swap at the exactly the same time as the person that bought 20,000 swap and did not buy or sell any, then your ADSH will only be 5,000. So this is how they're gonna base it on going forward with the swap drops and the launchpad projects. If you keep adding to your swap holdings, we factor that in. Each day we take a snapshot and factor that in towards the ADSH number. So let's just say now if you've already got 10,000 swap and then you've added another 10,000 swap, each day there is gonna be a snapshot, so you will obviously get rewarded more if you are holding more swap going forward into the future. We are able to scan Ether scan accounts and see which wallets have been holding swap for the longest and which wallets have been holding swap on a daily basis. From there, we can find the ADSH and find what number you're on. If you've been holding it for longer, then you will have a better number and a better chance of getting into these different projects. If you've been holding it for less, but you're a high volume holder, then you've also still got a good chance. If you're a low volume holder and you've not been holding for that long, then your chances of getting in on these projects are gonna be fairly, fairly slim. But that's kind of good because it is stopping people that are just trying to buy a certain amount of swap to get into different projects to make a quick flip. This only counts if you are holding in a wallet where you control the private keys. That right there is absolutely key. If you are keeping this on an exchange, this is not going to affect you and this is not going to help you at all because you will not be able to get involved in this new thing that they've got here, the average daily swap held because they're not going to be able to see how much you're holding, how long you've been holding it for. So MetaMask, Ledger and Trust Wallet are options and these have worked the best for most people in the past if you move your funds to a new wallet or a new address that then starts your counter at day one again keep your swap in the same wallet so if you've already got swap in one wallet like a metamask wallet keep it there right now don't move it to another wallet otherwise you will be going back to day one and your counter will restart this ads method will allow us to reward both long-term holders and new large investors alike creating a balanced ecosystem and then obviously as you you can see right here the ADSH is needed to participate in the trust swap launchpad TCOs and swap drops in the future and this will be with a load of different products and the price of swap at the time of the holding for the list all of this is going into the different metrics and the, um, all of this is going into how they are factoring in how this is going to work and how they've found out the average daily swap held and how they're making their decisions going forward 
we'll we, we will be announcing the ADSH needed for the MobiPay.io swap drop and launchpad likely within the coming week. Not sure what your ADSH is yet. We will have a full spreadsheet coming to you very, very soon. So you will be able to check your account and see where you are, see how long you've been holding it for and see what your ADSH number is going to be. So this is really, really positive from TrustSwap because they are making it a balanced ecosystem for everybody. The long-term holders, also people that want to put a lot of money into TrustSwap to get into these different products and then put a lot of money into these different products because it's going to benefit these different projects. It's also going to benefit TrustSwap because people will be buying large volumes to get into these projects, but they'll be buying large volumes of TrustSwap, i.e. could make the price go up. Also, they'll be putting a large amount into these different projects, so it will look good for TrustSwap as well um, with these different projects. And then these different projects might go and talk to other different projects and say, TrustSwap is the place to be to launch your project going forward. So very, very positive from TrustSwap and I just got to put it out there right now, guys. The Trust Swap team are just doing everything right right now. We've got the main net just around the corner. They are just exceeding expectations. I know the price isn't really reflecting that right now because the price is only at 81 cents, but this price should easily be in the two, three, four dollar mark right now with all the stuff that they have released since the beginning of Trust Swap. But this can easily go up when the mainnet does come out and when TrustSwap ages more in the cryptocurrency space and they get more partnerships. Um, this can definitely go up because people are buying TrustSwap to use it on the platform. Okay, let's get over to Chain Games. So this is the Chain Games Telegram. If you are not a part of the Chain Games Telegram, definitely do go over to the Telegram and definitely go over to the TrustSwap Telegram as well because there's a lot of helpful information there and the community over in the Telegrams are absolutely fantastic any telegram whether it's uni trained app well it's whether it's the burst x official one whether it's um elrond all of these telegrams guys you need to be in them because this is where you'll get the best up-to-date information on these different cryptocurrency projects and if you've got a question to ask you can just go into these different telegrams ask away and they usually respond to you pretty quickly or if it's not a member of the team that will respond to you pretty quickly someone in the community will probably know the answer to your question so this is Adam, the founder of Chain Games. We have a ton in store for you, Chain Gang. That's what he likes to call the Chain Game holders, Chain Gang. Presenting the Chain Games Tech and Marketing Roadmap. So the testnet is coming this Friday, live betting with testnet tokens. So you're going to be able to go onto the testnet, test out for them with testnet tokens, meaning the tokens aren't going to be uh, valuable to you. You're not going to be able to cash them out to an exchange and make money off this because obviously it's a test net and they need to see that it's working this will ensure the network is operating ideally and setting us up for the successful mainnet launch because that's what you want you want a successful mainnet launch following week they're going to have the mainnet launch live in-game betting with chain tokens this is where the fun begins staking gaming and mass marketing and then the major marketing push is also going to begin where they're going to get a lot of cryptocurrency youtubers reviewing this cryptocurrency project chain games so you've got to remember with this guys they're probably going to pay these youtubers i have never been paid by chain games i've never been paid by trust swap but i'm just putting it out there guys because i'm in the cryptocurrency space i know how these things work they're probably going to pay these youtubers guys but the youtubers will always have to say what they believe in so they will come to chain games will go to them and then they will say to chain games okay i'm going to make a review on chain games but i've got to say everything that i want to say whether it's good or whether it's bad so always look out for that guys and then scheduled interviews highlighting chain games then we've got the mainstream chain games publication features major marketing into jeff's network so like the ci network and all the different cryptocurrency groups that jeff's a part of because obviously jeff is an advisor on chain games and then we've got the marketing push to the crypto app which has over 1 million downloads on android which is absolutely crazy so over 1 million people could potentially know about the chain games project and the chain games platform informing their audience about chain games and the decentralized gaming ecosystem while the marketing push is ongoing we will lock in various major exchanges listings 
This is absolutely key for chain games going forward, not just to help the token price go up, but also to help the token have more volume and more people know about the token because they'll be on bigger exchanges. And when it's on bigger exchanges, people usually check what new tokens are on these big exchanges. And then they'll see that chain games is on there and they might potentially go and buy chain games or at least do some research into chain games. Only going for the large exchanges and the most well-known exchanges, the ones that actually have a good reputation. So this is good because they don't want to go for rubbish small exchanges. They want to go out there and get on the big exchanges. I'll just be honest now, guys. They'll probably get on most of the exchanges that Trust Swap are already on just because... Jeff is an advisor on this project. Jeff did help this project get started, and this was the first ever project on the TrustSwap launchpad. So they are going to have the um, different cryptocurrency exchange contacts that Jeff already has and that TrustSwap already have. So they'll probably get on the same exchanges as TrustSwap, but you never know. They might get on Binance before TrustSwap. You never know. It could possibly happen. But this is the cryptocurrency space, so you never know what is going to happen. And then the fourth quarter, 2020, opening up the NFT marketplace where NFT actually impacts gameplay. Resellable NFTs will give you unique skills, mods, and more. So this is going to be good because this will get more people going to go onto the NFT marketplace and more people using it. So it's not just going to be something that is a part of the platform and nobody uses it. People are going to be using this so they can get some um, skins. Sorry, I said skills there, didn't I, guys? Uh, so they can get unique skins, mods, and much more, more to use in game. And then also in the fourth quarter 2020, the open adapt store launches where many developers can put their games onto the chain games platform and start implementing the wages ring system on top of their game. This is where scalability opens up to a major uh, way in a major way for chain games and where hundreds, maybe even thousands of titles can start being implemented on the chain games ecosystem and start using the wagering system as well so this will take chain games to the next level and more people can come over to the dap store and i've already made a full video on chain games and telling you why the dap store is going to be beneficial to new creators and different titles to come on to the dap store because they will make more money but this is great because games will start to go on the chain games ecosystem meaning it's not just going to be their game on there and also in the fourth quarter 2020 opening up conversations with major publishing houses to get chain games wagering system into the mainstream traditional games and a mass scalability so they're not just going for new games that are going to come onto the dap store they're not just going for their own game they are going for the major publishing houses so basically like the major game developers and they're going to go over to them and say hey do you want to implement our wagering system into your game imagine if this wagering system was implemented into call of duty fortnite world of warcraft any of those games this would be absolutely crazy fall guys i know fall guys is a kid friendly kind of game but imagine if this wagering system was implemented into fall guys on like a second part of fall guys so there's one end of fall guys where people that want to wager they can go to that end of fall guys and then the other end of the fall guys is for like everybody to use imagine if this can get implemented into these different games then chain games would go through the roof it's going to be a busy week and months ahead and this is going to be a major push across all fronts both marketing and tech so they are doing a lot of things in the next few weeks and the next few months same with trust they've got a lot of things coming up as well very very positive for chain games a very very positive for trust swap in my personal opinion not financial advisor so please always do your own research let me know what you think about trust swaps announcement and chain games announcement as well down below in the video comment section thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time i upload to the channel i will not be uploading tomorrow guys because it is going to be my girlfriend's birthday so i will not be uploading tomorrow i probably should have mentioned this at the start of the video but oh well we're here now so no upload tomorrow guys i'll probably mention it in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in a couple of days time see you then